Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. <clears throat> this is like fourth, fourth um, recording today. Um, I mean, not today, this weekend, because uh, you know, I'm kind of bored and uh, nothing going on. So what I'm doing is this, this recording and I sleep and eat, brush my teeth. That's my weekend, this weekend. So uh, yeah, I did some martial arts on my own watching some martial arts movies and uh maybe i'll do singing and dancing next after this so um well first of all let's uh please um please do not be upset if i say things that you may disagree it's okay to disagree i mean that's life right look at husband and wife how many times do they ever agree they always just disagree because you are two different people. And disagreement is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Diversity, okay? We just, we just need to tolerate each other, all right? Yeah, tolerance is a good value, okay? It's uh, typically um, liberalist, democratic party's value. Tolerance is a good thing, okay? You know, try to understand each other, you know. Um, it enriches society diversity of opinions it's a good thing okay we are bound to disagree and we just should learn to tolerate each other's views so president trump called uh <coughs> africa or the, you know all these other countries as a shithole country that's wrong but that's disrespectful and they are not shithole countries they are great countries you know, that's the problem with uh, President Trump. He sees everything with money. To him, money is everything. That's sad. So sad. Some people think that way. If a country is poor, it's a bad country. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. Those countries are uh, better than America in many ways. They don't have gay marriage. They don't have transgender surgery. They don't have tattoos, piercings. Okay, they don't have legalized marijuana. In so many ways, they are better than us. Those uh, so-called third world developing countries. No, they're great countries. Money, money doesn't mean much, okay? Uh, money doesn't, does not make you happy. And all this technological ease, development, convenience, I, so my friend said uh, it, it did not make our life better, and I agree, okay? It's, it made us spoiled and lazy, obese, okay? So yeah, money uh, and unhealthy. Look at us, we are obese, okay? So yeah, money uh, can never uh, make you happy if you are a very rich person like president trump or harvey weinstein what do they do they become obese they become unhealthy you work too much right and uh yeah you may have some fancy trophy wife when you're rich and you may have multiple houses and yachts and airplanes helicopters whatever all those toys yeah, it's really necessary, okay? Um, yeah, so you move less, you become lazy physically. Uh, I mean, you're a workaholic, so you work too much, you make a lot of money, but as a re result, uh, you become obese, get sick, unhealthy. So yeah, it can ruin you. Money can really ruin you. Okay, this, it can destroy you. So Jesus said, you know, don't concern yourself with all these material things. You know, uh, do not accumulate your wealth on earth. Accumulate wealth in heaven. So the way, the way human, one way to interpret that is, uh, humanologically, is uh, if you have time left, yeah, you learn something. That's how you can invest time in heaven, metaphysical knowledge. Okay, you increase your knowledge, you learn a brand new instrument something like that you know hobby develop hobby uh, rather than trying to make too much money okay 
So that's Jesus' point of view. Um, human knowledge called interpretation. Um, okay, so yeah, those countries are not whole countries. And Trump is wrong. President Trump is wrong. And he's a, such a bad role model. Because I've seen so many young people who support President Trump. They now think it's okay to insult those countries. Look what he did. Look what Pr President Trump did to this young people. He's misleading young minds. And that's so sad. And I regret having voted for him. Of course, we didn't have much choice. We had what? Madam Secretary Hillary Clinton? Come on. Yeah, that's why I'm running for president in 2020, so that um, we have a choice to vote for somebody who's just better, better than President Trump, okay? Um, you may disagree with me, but <laughs> that's okay. You don't have to vote for me, okay? I, I, I won't hate you, even if you vote for Trump over me. That's, yeah, I, I won't take, hold that against you. Okay? Uh, I won't hate you, okay? Even if you don't vote for me, it's all right. It's your right to vote for a person that, for whoever, for President Trump, for wh whoever. Yeah, it's your right, you're exercising your right, so. Anyway, so President Trump, you know, he expressed this uh, point of view, uh, we should, why, why are we taking all these immigrants from Africa or all this uh, country, we should be taking immigrants from North, Northern Europe. So basically he want to, to let white people into America and not ethnic people. And I don't want you to, to get upset about this. Okay, because it does not upset me. Let's say President Trump decide to just block immigration from Asia, South Korea and all the Asia. Would that upset me? No, no. If we exclude all the other races except white race coming to America as an immigrant, would that upset me? No. Why? Because I would not get upset over it. Because I'm already here, okay? Do I want my friends and families in South Korea to immigrate to America? Not really, not really. Yeah, I guess that's why it upsets some ethnic people. Maybe they want to bring in um, their friends and family to America. My question is why? Why would you want that? Why, why can't you just make friends in America? So, oh, because you think what, what President Trump is a racist? Maybe he is, okay? Um, but uh, to me, uh, white people, yeah, they're very beautiful people, okay? So I have no problem pr President Trump just allowing immigration of only white people. I have no problem with that because, um, yeah, white people, they're very beautiful people. And I'm already here. As long as President Trump do does not try to kick me out of this country, <laughs> then, then, I don't think I would be upset over, about this uh, discriminatory, racist immigration policy because I'm already here. As long as he doesn't try to kick me out of this country, yeah, I'm okay with that kind of policy. Does it violate constitution? No. Okay, I, I need you to... I don't want you to be simplistic or overly emotional about these political issues. I want you to be more analytical and rational. Okay, don't be too hot-headed about those political issues, okay? D please do not, try not to be emotional about any of the political discussions here, because, um, um, well, first of all, if somebody's white, uh, yeah, she's, she, he, very beautiful people, right? So, yeah, it's, that's a talent, okay? So, just being white, yeah, I think it's a great asset. Okay, I think it's because they're beautiful. They have blonde hair, white skin, blue eyes. That's something very beautiful and something very rare, like precious gemstone, okay? Let's try to appreciate white people, okay? I'm not white. I'm 100% I'm Korean, Asian, American, okay? So, uh, so uh, Constitution, again. 
Constitution is, uh, you know, the law of land of America. It's not the law of entire planet Earth. Okay, so if you're, if you're arguing, oh, if we, Trump's policy, hypothetically, let's say Trump's immigration policy is allow only white people to Im immigrate into America. Okay, if, hypothetical policy, okay? That does not violate the Constitution. Why? I'll give you like 10 seconds for this. It's kind of an easy point. <clears throat> okay, your time's up. What's your answer? All right, let's say if you argue that um, it is unconstitutional to, you know, racially discriminate immigration, then you, you are interpreting this constitution as the law of the earth, meaning America dominates all the other countries. Okay, so that's, you're contradicting yourself. You Oh, you say, oh, you know, other countries, they are great countries, but now you are saying they are subject to U.S. Constitution, meaning all the other countries are in the world, they are colony of America, dictatorship, okay? Constitu U.S. Constitution applies to every single country in the world. That's what you are arguing, okay? So, yeah, that's self-contradiction, right? So, uh, we just disprove that position. Um, yeah, so... Constitution does not apply to other countries. It only is valid law in America. Not in Mexico, not in France. No. Okay, so Constitution, the equal protection, you know, equal right, is about Americans. It does not apply to other countries' people. Okay, so immigrants, they are not Americans yet, at least. So Constitution does not govern them. Okay. Equal rights, equal protection clause, they do not apply to foreigners. All right. And um, so even if President Trump say uh, we will only allow white people to immigrate to this country, it has, it does not violate constitution at all. Okay. Because those foreigners they are not American citizens, and Constitution, U.S. Constitution does not apply to them. Okay? So, yeah, you can discriminate in any way. And it's constitutionally allowed to discriminate based on um, race in immigration policy. Okay? Because they are not Americans yet. Constitution do not apply to them. Okay? So, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I love white people. So, uh, because and so so do you. That's why you are in America. Okay, so, I'm not exactly an immigrant, but I'm not all American either, right? I grew up in Korea. Yeah, I was born in America, but I grew up in Korea. Then I came here. Um, there's another Trump policy uh, where uh, his idea where. Uh, if you are just born in America, um, we are not going to just give you citizenship uh, just because you are born here. Uh, your parents, at least one of your parents, should be American citizen. That's many of his people, you know, Republicans, President Trump is trying to do. You know, let's get rid of citizenship by birth. I'm okay with that, okay? Because as long as uh, they try to as long as they don't try to kick me out of this country then I, yeah I'm okay with that okay because uh, you know I hope they don't uh, retroactively apply that law if they that becomes a law um, because uh, I'm already here okay so you know retroactive application of law that's 
wrong, it will violate due process and uh, you're violating constitution and then um, yeah, it's bad for America, okay. And um, But if they just make that law and apply it forward from that point on, I'm, I'm fine with that, okay. Although, I mean, I was in that situation. None of my parents, neither of my parents are American citizens, they are Koreans, okay. So I just happened to be born here. Um, that's how I got my citizenship and I hope they don't deprive my citizenship. I love this country. Okay, I do. Anyways, uh, let's talk more about other things. Okay, let's get behind the politics. And um, yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I love every race. Okay, um, a lot of, you know, all these brown people like me, okay, um, Asians, Indians, and um, Middle Easterns, Arabs, Jews, and Hispanics, Blacks, yeah, they're all beautiful people, and many of them are great asset to this country, okay, because many of them are extremely, extremely talented individuals. You know, Asians, I Indians, we tend to do very well in school, and Blacks, they tend to do great in athletics, sports, and um, music, dancing, you know. Hispanic people, yeah, they're good at partnership dancing, I guess. But as long as those ethnic men do not mess with white women, then I'm okay with them, you know, being in America. I just... It really nothing disgusts me more than when I see this ethnic man like President Trump's son-in-law and the boyfriend of Tiffany Trump. Yeah, they're ethnic men. They're, you know, Middle Eastern Jews. Yeah, that nothing makes me more disgusted by than ethnic men going after uh, young, beautiful white girls like Tiger Woods, Bruce Lee. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, yeah, all these ethnic men marrying off all these model type beautiful young white girls because that's genocide, okay? You're destroying white race by doing that, okay? You only care about your own sexual pleasure of having sex with these white women, young, white, beautiful model type women. To me, that's something extremely evil and selfish Okay, that's Ted Cruz, that's Marco Rubio, and that's uh, President Trump's son-in-law. What's his name? Jared Kushner or something? And that boyfriend of Tiffany Trump. Okay, President Trump couldn't even protect his own daughters from this ethnic invasion. He's incapable of, of uh, protecting his own daughters from this ethnic horn dogs. Do you think President Trump can protect the white race, he can't. He couldn't even protect his own daughters, okay? I'm the one, only one who can protect the white race. Why? Because I'm not white. No white person can protect white people. Why? Because th then that person will be uh, branded as a racist. Me? I'm, I'm not white, so I can protect white people all I want. Nobody can call me a racist because I'm not white, okay? so. Anyway, it's good to live, good to be in America. Okay, I can talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't believe in white supremacism. Well, actually, I do. Okay, white people are the most beautiful people in the world. Okay, but that's just one small part. For example, dancing and singing and music. Nobody is better than black people. So I'm black supremacist. Sports. Yeah, nobody, nobody can beat black people in terms of sports, athletics. So I, I'm a black supremacist as well. I believe in uh, supremacy of every single race on earth. I love and I appreciate all different races. Okay? So I, I love races. <laughs> okay? So uh, I love talking about it. It's fun. Racial jokes is fun, okay? And I, I have had this racist treatment from all different races, okay? Some 
some people call me, oh yeah, you, you must have very small dick because uh, small pin, PG 13, okay, small penis because you are Asian. Well, that's, uh, that really doesn't offend me because, um, yeah, it's simply false, okay, because uh, the size of penis in a man is just proportional to body height weight, whatever, okay, so it has nothing to do with race, really, um, yeah, oh, black people, black guys, they have big dick, big penis, I don't think that's true either, okay, it's, it's all proportional to the height, okay, yeah, that's just myth, okay, so, very unscientific, all right, anyway, Yeah, I, I believe in supremacists of, of uh, every race, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> different races are good at different things, okay, they have different set of talents. They look different, they have different skin color, right, so, physical difference between races or between gender, it leads to metaphysical difference, okay, men and women, they are totally different, they think different, they feel different, they have different sets of talents, men and women, okay. I'm not a sexist. I don't hate women. I'd rather work with women than men. But because women, you know, they have breasts, they have long hair, and they shoot, okay? And they have put on skirts and they go through these monthly periods, you know, menstruation. So they go through a lot. They have this extra burden. You know, they get pregnant, they have babies. So, um, in terms of if And I'm, I'm not saying we should discriminate against women. No, I love women and uh, I'd rather work with women. But uh, if they perform less than men, then they're excused because they go through all this other stuff. Like they have babies, they get pregnant, they go through menstruation. So they have this extra burden. So if they perform less than men, they're excused, okay? So, uh, it's understandable that they, if they don't perform as well as men, okay? Um, again, I'm being objective, analytical, okay? Uh, analytical, I don't even pronounce how, to, how, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Analytical, oh, yeah, I have accent and whatever. Kind of drunk too, so understandably nobody probably understand any, a single word that I'm saying. Um, anyways, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about evolution. All right, uh, let's talk about evolution. So uh, evolution. Okay, so maybe it's time to take a break a little bit, uh, but. Basically, it's this, okay? Um, this social welfare system uh, is kind of hindering, interfering with the evolution, right? So, out in the wild, in wild animals, if animal gets sick, then he dies off and his gene dies with that animal because he has inferior genes. That's out there in the animal world, okay? I don't know too much about sociology, so if you major in sociology, yeah, teach me. Okay, I'm, I'm sure they have some valid points in sociology, okay? So, because what I'm saying, I, I kind of know that uh, evolution plays a big role in sociology, you know? So, what I'm saying probably, maybe, maybe, may, uh, may already exist in sociology, okay? So, social welfare system in human homo sapiens is uh, interfering with the evolutionary process because we have all these inferior people sick people but government is supporting them with money you know medicare medicaid so these people get married even and spread past this horrendous genes to the next generation okay do you see what i'm getting at so it's a little bit difficult questions then should we just let them die off and without any kids so that they are bad 
genes do not get passed on to the next generation. Uh, what I can, what I'm ready to say is, uh, it's one uh, point of view, and it's up to you whether to support this idea or not. Okay. Um, And I, I'm against this general social welfare, okay, because um, it tend to make people lazy. They just live off of taxpayers' back, okay? Oh, oh they claim disability. Oh, I, I'm mentally ill, and so I don't have to work. What becomes of this person? Obese, lazy, unhappy. Everybody loses, okay? I have no problem just letting people, this person die of starvation or freeze, freeze to death or whatnot. I, I don't care, okay? Because if you don't work, then you should just die. Why? Because what's the alternative? You are stealing from other people. Yes, it's legalized theft. Social welfare, you depend on social welfare, legalized theft, okay? You're living off of people's back, people's backs, like, um, we work hard and we pay high tax, okay? Uh, I hate, I have no problem paying tax because I don't need that much money. I pay my bills, I don't get to save, that's fine, okay? But as a politician, I hate tax, taxing people. I hate it because government is wasting too much money. I mean, senators, congressmen, they should not be in DC. They should be, stay, they should be staying in their own home state. <coughs> Meetings, they should do teleconference, okay? Remote, remotely. Yeah, you have internet, use it. You don't have to be in Washington, D.C. You want to have a meeting? Yeah, yeah, teleconference, okay? Senators, congressmen, they should be with their own people. Listen to them. Meet them. People that they represent, okay? Government is wasting too much money traveling, okay? So we should get rid of that. And all these ceremonies and... Oh, look at all these stupid politicians doing. President Trump, he goes to these rallies after rallies. What the hell are you doing, man? Why are you doing politics? You should be... Uh, because he, I know why he, he's doing what he's doing. Going to political rallies for this midterm election or not. It's because he's taking his job as a retirement job. Okay? All these politicians, yeah, they take it as a retirement job. That's why they travel so much, okay? And they don't work. They just preach, go to this meeting, that meeting, and preach. Yeah, they take it as a retirement job, okay? And they're old. They want to travel, talk to people. That's all they're doing, okay? So, oh, man, this, it's a they take it as a retirement job, okay? So, sign of cure, kind of... Uh, Yeah, I guess I told you, yeah, the only, the only one and only reason I want to be president is to drink vodka all day and every day. And um, it's a joke, okay? Do you think I will really do that? Come on. Don't take my words seriously. I'm a joker. I love joking around. And also, I talk about random stuff like here, go there, I, I, I'm everywhere, right? It's because I'm relaxing and I'm at home, okay? Uh, Normally, I'm not like this. I'm just like stand-up comedian. You know, they, that's what they do. They talk about random stuff like this and that, this and that, right? I'm not working. I'm relaxing. This is my hobby, private joy. So it's not like I have some problem with concentrating, focusing. No, no. It, only be, I'm everywhere only because um um. 
this is not a time to work. It's time to relax and have fun. Okay. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, evolution. Okay. So social welfare system, all this mental health, blah, 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 all garbage. Okay. So again, psychology is so toxic. It doesn't make you better. It makes you worse. Okay. So it's, it's just wrong. Uh, it's a poison. Okay. So yeah, it's not making people healthier. It's making people worse. Psychology, psychiatry, they got it wrong. Okay. For centuries. Okay. So it's sad. But look at Islam, okay? For centuries, they have these hijabs and um, burqas, and it's wrong. Okay? So, yeah, so some things, some evil tradition of the you know, centuries old, it could be something very, very wrong. Look at tattoos, piercings, marijuana. Very, very wrong, and it existed for centuries. And they're still wrong. Yeah, so... There are some long living evils out there. It's so unfortunate. Something evil, highness, have such a long life. Look at murder. Look at theft, crimes. It exists ever since the beginning of the humanity. Rape, murder, theft. It existed since the beginning of human history. Back, all the way back to the book of Genesis. Cain and Abel, okay? Yeah, some evil tradition. It, it's like eternal, perpetual. That's so sad. And, but we, humanologists, we believe we can get rid of it. Once and for all, okay? Because we believe in miracles, okay? You know, just like Jesus' prayer, Lord's prayer, you know, let kingdom come, let the die will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, let's make this world a paradise, crime-free paradise, okay? We should believe in those things. Other than belief, we have nothing. We have to believe that we can get rid of crimes, poverty, homelessness. We should believe that, okay? That's the starting point. Then it can happen. Maybe one day. If not in this generation, maybe in the next generation. We should improve. We should continue to improve our society uh, generation after generation, we should pass on the torch, you know, we should strive to better the current generation, okay, and we can do it, all right, and uh, I guess in a way I'm kind of in the retirement mode too, I'm preaching, and um, but when I'm the president, uh, yeah, I won't be just drinking vodka all day, every day. Come on. Don't take me seriously, okay? I I'm a joke, okay? So so if you don't vote for me, I'm not going to blame you a single bit, okay? <laughs> I joke a lot, okay? So let's take a break, all right? I love t t t uh, making jokes.
Okay, so uh, there's this Chinese movie with Jet Li and um, I fo forgot the name of the female actress. It's about this t transgender. Okay, I love the movie, believe it or not. Okay, so so there's this guy, and he became a woman because he studied too much martial arts too much. So he kind of cut off his penis, something like that, okay, and became a woman. Okay, so I think the name of that movie is Swordsman 2, something like that. Fantastic. I love that movie, okay, because that transgender person was uh, casted as, uh, I mean, it's actress playing that role, the transgender man, she man, okay, who became a wo woman. It was played by a beautiful woman. Chinese woman, okay, and she's a fantastic actress and fantastic martial artist too. Yeah, I love that that movie, okay. Uh, and there's another movie, some say flying sword or butterfly knife or whatnot. That's also about transgender person, a man who became a woman, but that role is played by a man, and it's disgusting because this guy. Acting like a woman, that's disgusting, okay? But a woman playing that role, you know, you know Swordsman 2, uh, yeah, I liked, I liked it, okay? And uh, it's a fiction, okay? It's a movie, it's a novel, it's not, there's not, no politics in there, okay? So as long as it's played by an actress and not a man, then yeah, it's, it's fine. Because oh my goodness, this girl, she she has this thread and thread and needle, and she fights these big guys with a big weapon with this thread and needle. It's so beautifully done. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. Chinese guys, oh, they have some good imagination, and I I also like the movie. Uh, you know, uh, Lost in Translation. Um. What's that guy's name? I forgot. Yeah, it, it was very well made. You know, movie, American movie made in Japan. Uh, very well made movie, okay? It's kind of a, like about adultery a little bit, but <sighs> it's, again, it's a fiction, all right? So it's okay. <laughs> okay, so... um. A good fiction always contains this element of evil. Okay. That's what makes the story more interesting. And probably that's why God created evil in the world. He created Satan. Everything that, every single evil in the world is created by God. Okay. That God, if you believe in Bible, that's what Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Okay. Uh, yeah, God created it all. Of course he did. All this tragedy, the beautiful people dying young. Yeah, God is doing it. It's not devil doing it. No, it's the, the, God is the only one who is in complete control of the world. So I don't. I, all these ingenious ideas, great songs, beautiful songs. They, sometimes they ne never get to see the light. Or maybe some movies too, like the movie that I made. It made them never get to see the light of the day. It's published. It's out there. All my academic papers, my ideas, it may die with me. And um, I'll be sad, but to be honest, I don't care. So if I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens in this world after I'm dead? Because I'm, I'm dead. I'm not here anymore. Okay, I just do my best while I'm alive because I have nothing better to do. Do you have anything better to do than saving the world? <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's the, the most we can do to try every day. And um, uh, is there anything more to talk about today? I'm not sure. Um, let me go to the bathroom real quick, sorry.
Okay, so. <clears throat> Not sure what we can talk about. I mean, so. Uh, and, yeah, we can do other things. Like, we, we've done enough martial arts, okay? We can dance a little bit. I guess, but um, I'm not quite in the mood. I, maybe I'm not drunk enough. Um, uh, boy. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm totally blank today. I, uh, because long weekend, right? I didn't do anything this weekend, so, um, and we talked so much yesterday uh, and this morning, so I guess I'm kind of ran out of any ideas to talk about. Um, okay. Let's talk about hatred. You should never hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate President Trump. Okay, I think he's doing decent job. Okay. Yeah, there are things that I would do differently, but hey, nobody is perfect, and we all disagree. Okay. In general, I think he's doing okay job. Okay, so. Uh, it's not too bad. President Obama, yeah, he uh, he did many things that I disagree with. But I was happy when he got elected. I didn't vote for him. I voted for uh, Ralph Nader, I think. I think that's his name. Nader, you know, the Green Party guy. He, I think he went to Harvard Law School, something like that. Okay. Yeah, he went to Harvard with some degree. Anyway, so yeah, President Trump, uh, yeah, or President Obama, when President Obama got elected, I, I was kind of happy, okay, because, uh, you know, he's half white, half black, but everybody see him as a black person, okay? That's what happens when a black man, his father, or President Obama's father, uh, he married a beautiful young white woman the mother of President Obama, okay, so what becomes of the child, a black person. The white heritage, white genetics, genes, dies with her, okay, that's so sad. So that's why, I, that's why we, ad, in human knowledge, we ad, advocate for um, anti-ultra interracialism, okay. A beautiful, young, slender, white woman should marry a good eligible white man in order to preserve and protect the white race okay if an ethnic man marries such women then their children will be ethnic they'll be less and less white people nobody wants to see that nobody white people are beautiful people so we need to preserve this race okay we don't care too much about uh, ethnic men going after <laughs> not so beautiful woman okay beautiful not so let's just say ugly white women okay because she doesn't have that much good gene anyway so yeah i'm not too much against that i mean it's not recommended but we can allow that okay and white man marrying uh ethnic woman that's fine too because it doesn't happen very often anyway okay so yeah, there's not too much point of opposing that. Okay, it's 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 fine. Okay, and um, yeah, and um, is there anything else that we want to talk about? Yeah, so we talked about uh, you know, Jesus one us to love him more than we love our parents and yeah it's, it's basically this let's say your parents are very obese okay but you should still oppose obesity 
because opposing obesity is the right thing to do. Yeah, it may hurt your parents' feelings because they are obese, but you still have to oppose obesity if that's you loving Jesus more than you love your parents. Okay? Because Jesus stands for righteousness, justice, what's right, human betterment, truth, okay? The way, truth, and the life, that kind of stuff. Okay, so you, you have to do it. I mean, you're not... You're hurt, just hurting their feelings, but it's, come on, what what's that? Don't be too sensitive about hurting people's feelings, okay? You have to do the right thing. Perhaps your parents will start exercising regularly and have healthy diet, and maybe they will become healthier and thinner, okay? So, and that's what's best for them too, okay? Yeah, I, I mean, you don't have to be offensive. You can just be, you can be respectful in the way of opposing obesity, okay? Uh, because we, we need to stop this ill trend, okay? Uh, that's all. Um, for the sake of all of us, and especially for our future generation, okay? So, um, yeah. And um, I don't know what to, what else to do if I'm not doing this. I'm just alone, and maybe I should start dancing after this. Um, I'm not really in the mood. Like Sunday night, not not really in the mood of dancing. You know, um, but I have good to work tomorrow, so it kind of breaks the mood. Party mood and so yeah. Yesterday uh, we started talking about let's uh, put on the shoes of the other people, the other side. Okay, like gay people. Let's try to understand gay people. Okay, so yeah, I understand. You know, uh, because I'm single guy. By because girls don't want to have date with me and. I understand. I get lonely, so that's why I'm doing this, right? And some other guys, you know, uh, they get lonely. They want to have sex, but they cannot. It's too hard, too difficult to get a girl. You know, I understand that. So they get lonely. So they get together and kind of aided masturbation. That's what gay sex is. It's PG thirteen, okay? It's PG thirteen material. I understand, okay? I do, all right. And um, but. It, I still oppose it because it's not good for you. It's gonna ruin you, all right? And I care for you. That's why I'm opposing gay marriage because I care about you, okay? Gay marriage is gonna destroy you. Marijuana, recreation, marijuana, tattoos, piercings, yeah, it's gonna destroy you, okay? And I care about you and that's why I'm saying these things, okay? Uh, yeah, so thank me later, all right? Uh, I don't want you to hate me. Don't hate anybody. Don't hate President Trump either, or don't hate President Obama. Okay, yeah, they're stupid, right? They're assholes, they're stupid idiots, but we all are, okay? We're all stupid. Okay, yeah, we may disagree on things and but don't hate somebody just because you disagree. You should be able to tolerate the difference. All right Tolerance is a good value. It's a virtue Okay, um, so I'm a registered Republican, but I do appreciate Democratic Party and liberalism I do because they have some good elements there. They are Americans half of the Americans. Okay They can't be stupid. Uh, we are Americans. Americans are smart. Don't you think? Yeah, so please don't hate anyone. Doesn't that what Jesus tell you to do? Love each other, love your enemy, okay? I don't even see them as my enemies. We are just brothers and sisters under one God. We are dysfunctional family. But somehow it's functioning, okay? Uh, somehow. 
Every family is like that. Nobody's perfect. No family is perfect. Okay. Um, just love one another. You know, try to understand. Uh, yeah, tattoos, piercings. I understand. Yeah, metal. Yeah, I love metal. Metal. Okay. It's cold. It's cool. Something different. It's inorganic metal. You know, it's not like wood. I love wood too. Wooden furniture, metal. They're all cool, man. Okay. That's why I play with the martial art weapons because it's metal, all right. Yeah, nunchucks. It has some metal link. This chain, right? Steak knife. You know, it's blunt knife. So yeah, just play with those things if you love metal. Okay. No, you don't need piercings. Tattoos. I understand. Yes, you wanna make some permanent mark. I understand that. Okay, I do. Uh, But still, I have to disagree with you on those things. Marijuana, fine. Yeah, medical marijuana, I'm, I'm all for it. Recreational marijuana, I understand you, okay? You don't like cigarettes, you don't like alcohol, so you want to smoke marijuana instead. I understand, okay? What I'm saying is, you don't want to forget things. Life. Come on. Is your life not worth remembering? Ask yourself. You want your life to be forgot forgotten? If you don't remember your own life, then who will? And if you remember your life, then at least there is a chance that you can perpetuate it, eternalize it by writing about it, by making a movie or this kind of like, you know, tape recording, or, I mean, digital recording. Okay. Yeah, don't wipe out your memory with marijuana. What are bad memories? Well, it's something you can laugh at later on. Okay, yeah, I had some bad memories. Let's ha talk about some of my childhood horrendous experiences. Uh, we all have that, right? Um, when I was like fifth grade in S South Korea, so uh, I was in a Boy Scout and we went to this field trip and I wanted to be a leader, the squad leader. and. Um, so, hey guys, yeah, vote for me. I want to be your squad leader. And they left at me. <laughs> it was so painful at the time. But now I, I can laugh, laugh at it. Okay, so yeah, all those bad memories, they're not that bad. Actually, there's something hilarious. You do not want to forget those things. Even if you think it's a bad memory, you do not want to forget it with marijuana. You don't want to just smoke it away and become all smokes. No. Yeah, so it was so insulting. They didn't just laugh at me. They in South Korea it's like this. Okay, there's this strict hierarchy of age. If you're older person, even by one year, then yeah, you you are supposed to respect that older person. Okay, strict hierarchy. So that's South Korea. And in Japan, China is similar. Okay, uh, you respect seniors okay so this day they bow down like this you know when they say hello goodbye or thank you okay so uh so yeah i was in sixth grade i think yeah so in the elementary final year of the elementary school so went to this field trip and there's this fourth grade fifth grade who are two years younger one year younger okay so i i told them i don't know if you squad leader and there's another guy who's my age at my age sixth grade he wants to be a squad leader too so we kind of competed and he won very easily because everybody wanted him and not me they left at me so this guy young guys five grade fifth grade or fourth grade who are younger than me they would pet my head like this like as if i'm a i'm their pet dog that's tremendous 
ex disrespect. And they're younger than me. They're junior to me. They would pat my head like this. Like as if I'm, a, I'm their dog. That's what happened. It's such a horrendous memory. Uh, it, it, was, uh, it took me a while to get over it. Okay. I, can you believe this? They would pat, pat my head. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea the kind of uh, horrendous experience that I had went through. And I didn't tell you everything. Yeah, they treated me like a dog. Guys in Boy Scout who are, who are like one year, two years younger than me. Okay, so that's what something happened in sixth grade, my sixth grade in Seoul, South Korea. And um, I think I told you se some several episodes in my childhood. My childhood wasn't that bad, okay? It was just fine, but I did have some bad experience. Just like anyone else, okay? And another one thing that happened was... Um, okay, we have this Teacher's Day in South Korea. I think it's May 15th. So traditionally, we make this carnation with paper and we give it to our teachers, okay? Carnation, you know, the flower, red carnation flower. Yeah, and there's this traditional way of making it, but I wanted to do it differently, okay? So again, I'm laughing at it. I wanted to do it differently, so I came up with this idea of making a different kind of carnation, so I made it, and people laughed at it. <laughs> oh, your carnation look like shit. Okay, so they all laughed at me, okay. But I wanted to be different. I wanted to be inventive, and I, I wanted to do things differently, okay. So I made it, and they, they were like, ha, 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 look at your carnation. You look like stupid. Look so stupid, and uh, they laughed at me. So I cried, because I, I did cry. It happened also in my sixth grade. <laughs> and the teacher didn't appreciate my newly invented carnation either, paper carnation. He didn't like it either. Okay, so. Girls, yeah, in my elementary school. Yeah, they laughed at me. Guys, they didn't laugh at me. It was mostly girls. So, yeah, I, I, I cried and uh, it's kind of uh, a little bit shameful. I'm shameful of that and... Uh, Girls making fun of me, many girls, and some guys too, they laughed at me, so I cried, and it, yeah, it, it's stupid, okay, but come on, I was 6th grade, how, how old was I, uh, 12 years old, 10 years old, 11 years old, whatever, yeah, it's a horrendous experience, okay, and, um, but it's fun. I'm laughing at it now. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I told you about that running race. There was this uh, homecoming king, a very popular guy, right? So I I ran him because he got he's a great athlete. You know, great with basketball, whatnot. Hands, very handsome, tall, handsome guy. Yeah, there's every man wanted to be him. Every girl wanted to be his girlfriend. You know, the, that really popular kind of. Uh, and he was decent in study too. Um, you know, martial art. You know, taekwondo. He did all those things, and he was popular, handsome, tall, handsome guy. It, it, same grade as I am, so um, same age. So yeah, he was very popular. So he, so we have this group run. You know, it's kind of, it's not exactly competition, but it's like, you know, PT test in U.S. Army, right? You run. I don't know what American schools do nowadays. Do they make people run? Their students run. When I was in high school, middle school. Elementary school, yeah, we, we were supposed to run. Everyone, everybody. When I was in the U.S. Army, yeah, we are supposed to run, everybody. I don't know what American schools teach students nowadays. I've never been to American public schools. Yeah, I went to colleges, 
you know, graduate school and law school in America, but public school, I don't know what they teach. Do they teach just lesbian dance theory? Do they teach how great legalization of marijuana is? And do they teach how awesome gay marriage is? Do they teach how great transgender surgery and hormone therapy is? Is that all they teach nowadays in American high school and middle school and elementary school? I don't know. I don't know what they, what the hell they teach nowadays in American public schools. Okay, I don't know. <sighs> I hope they teach students to run. I don't know. And th does President Trump care? I don't think so. What what's he doing? He going after rally after rally. Oh, re elect. Republicans in this midterm election. That's all he's doing. And you want to re-elect him? Come on. Don't be that crazy. Yeah, we are all crazy, but, right? You and me. We are all stupid and crazy. But don't be that stupid. Re elect me, okay? You have to. You have to vote for me in 2020 November, okay? Just write down my name. Memorize how to spell my name. It's just 10 letters. First name and last name. I don't have middle name. My name is a Korean name. Tr transliteration to um, English, okay? So, yeah, let's talk about accent. Relativity of accent. You think British people have accent, right? But they think Americans have accent. Okay? To them, British people, there's authentic real English. American English, yeah, it's on some accent. Accent is something very relative, okay? So, if I speak English in Korea, they don't think I have accent. Because this is how Koreans speak English, okay? Korean accent. Okay, so it's all relative, all right? So, uh, don't be too harsh on me if I, uh, you don't like my accent. Just tolerate it, okay? you get used to it. You understand what I'm saying. I'm sure, pretty sure you do, right? I, I, I'm, I'm living in America, okay? Nobody, nobody have any trouble understanding me. They know I have thick accent. Actually, I didn't know I had an accent, but I listened to this tape recording of my own voice and I realized I have very heavy accent. Until then, I, didn't, I had no idea I had an accent. It's kind of funny. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, let's take a break and we'll be back and maybe we'll talk about my childhood, okay? It's kind of fun.
Okay, we're back. Let's talk, talk about childhood. Okay. So. Uh, I want to talk about some bad memories. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. It's more fun to talk about some bad childhood memories. It's more exciting. More intriguing. Okay, so. Uh, <sighs> so, okay. In my um, eighth grade and ninth grade middle school, okay. Uh, yeah, I studied, started studying more seriously than before. So, to go to this prestigious Korean, South Korean science high school, elitist, okay. So I studied very hard, and um, I I got in. It's, it's allegedly, uh, supposedly. Uh, the second best science high school in Korea, okay? Um, I got in, okay? Uh, they selected something like 180 people. I was on the very first third. I was within 60, top 60, okay? And then, I, so I went in there and I we took exam again. Once we got in there, we, once we got admission, yeah, just, you know, regular exam. And I was in top 18. I was in top 10% of this elitist school. I was doing very well at, at the beginning. Um, because I studied very hard. And then my mind kind of drifted, drifted away from that school because it's, it was a good school, okay? I, I, I'm not against those elitist schools. Yeah, they do a lot of good stuff. Okay, I'm not against elitist school like Harvard, Yale, Stanford, West Point. Yeah, they're good institutions. Okay, I have some friends from there too. Okay, yeah, this is all okay. It's just that government or any organization should not be monopolized by elitists people. There should there should only one percent of those top officials should be from elitist schools. It, now it's like what. About 99% of them are from elitist school. That's wrong. That's not representative government or organization or whatnot. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Because this high school, they focus too much on studying and they don't focus on character development. So I got out and they let me go. It's not easy to transfer from this elitist school to a regular high school. It's not easy, okay? But they let me do it. They helped me transfer, okay? So, yeah, I'm very grateful. And this this one teacher uh, who thought I'm half white and half Asian. To me, that's kind of flattering. Okay, so. But I'm 100% Korean, okay? American. But biologically, ethnically, yeah, I'm 100% Korean, okay? 100% Asian. Maybe back in the days, like long ancestral line, yeah, maybe there could be, have been some, maybe Russian or Arab influence. Who knows? But as far as I know, uh, that didn't happen. It, I'm 100% Korean, ethnically, okay? And I love my race. I love being Asian, okay? I love being a minority, and uh, I love it. I'm very grateful. I honor, I'm very grateful to my ancestors and American government who gave me citizenship. I'm very grateful to that too. And yeah, life is good. So yeah, I went to the science school and then I transferred to ordinary school in my hometown in Seoul, South Korea. Um, the, and then um, it was very awkward. Oh, he dropped out of this elitist school. Wh why, why did he do that? Is he lazy? And um, it's getting too hot, so I'm going to turn off that heater. Yeah, it, it was ordinary, you know, hometown kind of high school and, um, you know, and there, there are some students who still are very good in academically in that ordinary high school okay i'm not gonna tell you the name 
And there's this guy who, you know, who's very academically excelling kind of student. And we were in the same class and um, he got so upset because I beat him in mathematics exam. Of course I beat him in the mathematics exam because I went to this top elitist science high school. Yeah, in mathematics, physics, yeah, nobody can compete with me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course, I beat him very easily. Uh, yeah, I was number one in mathematics exam in that ordinary Korean Seoul high, high school in Seoul, okay? He got so upset. So, that's what elites are. That's how elites are. They are stupid. They're just studying machine, working machine. So, even in America, okay, there's no character development emphasis in character in Seoul, in America, in Asia, anywhere in the world. Schools tend to emphasize only too much athletics or too much just materialistic success like academia. That's not right. If you are a school, if you are teachers, you should focus on character development. Okay, to be a good person, to make a good person. If you are parents, parents, you should also care about character development. That's what my parents taught me. My mother and father, I mean dad, mom and dad. In Christianity, we don't use the term father. God is our only father, okay? That's what Jesus said. Don't call other people teachers or fathers. Holy Spirit is the only teacher, your students. Your old brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, God is your only heavenly father. Okay, so yeah, my mom and dad, yeah, they they didn't just emphasize me doing academically well. No, they emphasized character. My mom and dad. Uh, okay, so yeah, they, I they were very strict about that. If I do something wrong. Not academically, but if I do something wrong, like morally, I I would get very, very harshly reprimanded or even beaten when I was a young kid, okay? On the calf, okay, so there was this wooden shoehorn, okay? So he I did something wrong, okay? So morally. I was disrespectful, so my dad, yeah, he, he beat me, just like spanking, okay, like with a pedal. Americans used to do that too, right? Yeah, beating children as a punishment, corporeal, pun, corporal, pun, corporeal punishment, I'm all for it. Okay, because we kids, we are like young children, they're like animals, okay? So that's the only language uh, animals understand, okay? There's no injury. Yeah, it just hurts a little bit, but you get better. So he, he, yeah, he beat me on my calf, okay, and um, with this uh, wooden shoehorn and it broke. Okay, because this wooden shoehorn is very thin, okay, so no big deal. And in school, when I grew up in South Korea, yeah, we got beaten too in school. Yeah, with wooden stick, okay, we don't get injury. Because back in the days, I'm talking about 1980s and 1990s, okay. Yeah, we, we got beaten all the time, okay, because I was a playful and naughty child. I'm, I still am. I'm naughty. Just look at me and listen to what the kind of things that I say. Okay, uh, I'm lucky no, that nobody's watching this because if everybody's watching this, probably I would get into trouble. <laughs> Just like I was getting trouble in elementary school. Middle school and high school, okay. Uh, I got beaten a lot, okay. I got beaten, beat a lot. Um, I just laugh at it. It's no big deal. Come on, let boys be boys, okay. They beat me up like with wooden sticks or what, okay. So it's discipline, it's physical discipline. I, I thank them for it, for beating me up as a child. Okay, so we don't care about psychology. We don't care about all this liberal agenda, okay. We are not going to talk about their approach because it's all garbages.
okay? Uh, yeah, children need to be uh, disciplined. All right? If they do something wrong, we need to correct them. All right? That's how I grew up. That's many of you grew up as if you are in your 40s, 50s, 60s. We need to get back to that, okay? Uh, good old America. Or good old any other countries. We have become too soft. That's why this world is such a mess. This generation is so spoiled. Because we don't correct people. We don't discipline children, okay? So, uh... Anyways, what are some other memories? Fun, interesting memories. Um, so, okay, I transferred to this ordinary high school, right? And then I started teaching my fellow students, colleagues, about mathematics. I told, asked my, uh, my uh, dear teacher, and uh, hey, uh, would you give me a list of uh, people who have the worst performance in mathematics because I can teach them for free. And yeah, so he gave me the list and I started teaching them after school in classroom. Okay, uh, I, I had some limited success. Okay, uh, yeah, some of them learned, some of them didn't, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, not everybody have different talent, okay? Um, so, you don't have to be good at everything. Like, for me, example, for example, I try to learn piano, guitar, even violin, but I miserably failed, okay? I, it's just not my thing. I'm just not good at it. Okay, so, uh, I gave up. So, yeah, if you hate mathematics, don't study it then, okay? Um, not everybody has to be a mathematician, right? It's okay to... But study something! Alright, learn something. You're not good at martial arts, that's fine. Then learn to shoot a gun. Okay? You, you need some kind of self-protection. Um, nobody's good at everything. If you're not good at dancing, yeah, you can... Do you think I was good at dancing? Do you think I am good at dancing now? I, I guess I danced a little bit in front of this camera and probably it's something very laughable. And I'm glad you are laughing. I want you to laugh at me. I'm a comedian, okay? Yeah, laugh at me by all means, okay? I'm not a good dancer either, okay? But I love dancing, however. Because you need to have this kind of healthy ha hobbies, dancing, singing, martial arts, they're very healthy, good for you. Because it's cardio, it's exercise, it makes you physically moving. That's what we need, okay? Exercise. Okay, and um, because if you don't do this stuff, then you'll do other horrendous bad hobbies, like tattoos, piercings, marijuana. Gay marriage, transgender bathroom, uh, transgender surgery. Okay, so because you don't have a good hobby. Alright, you need to have a good hobby. Otherwise, you make bad hobbies. Okay. One way or the other, you will have hobbies. If you're going to have one hobby, you need to have a good hobby. Video games. Yeah, I used to play video games. Okay, when I was young, you know. Good old Nintendo. Um, but I don't play video games. Because, again, it's too static. Yoga, meditation, I'm not a huge fan. It's too static. You need to be moving around. Okay? Yoga, video games, meditation, all those things. You're too static. Okay? I want you to run, dance. Martial arts, you need to move around, okay? Move your body. Um, when you play video games, you just sit there, right? You just move your fingers, come on.
okay so uh yeah i'm kind of against those things all right um what else can we talk about today uh And I want to start to dress nicely. All right, be beautiful. Okay, be fit and be stylish. I'm not saying I'm stylish, but I try. I try to do my hair nicely, nice necktie, nice suit and tie, trench coat. At least I try, okay? Martial arts, dancing, singing, I may be good at, I may not be good at it. You may be laughing at me, but at least I try and I enjoy those things. Okay. And, um, uh, I, I'm here to help. I'm not here to offend you. <laughs> it's just an unavoidable thing, inevitable thing that I've offended you because I am here to correct you, to make you a better person. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm jeopardizing a lot. If this go public, I may lose my good reputation because I do have good reputation. All my friends in Korea and in America, they think they know uh, or they think kindly and generously that I'm a very smart guy. You may think I'm very stupid, man. I don't blame you. Maybe you're right. Okay. But I have a reputation of being a very smart man. Okay. Uh, why am I telling you this? It's because I believe you are, you are a very smart person too, but I need you to continue learning. I am. I'm, I'm always learning stuff. I need you to continue to learn, okay? Uh, you don't have to go back to school. Just, you know, read books for free. Go, I mean, cheap Amazon used all the edition books and, um, you know, online. You know, just go to website without paying for anything. You know, Wikipedia, web, other websites, okay? Learn history, learn mathematics, learn science, physics, biology, chemistry, okay? And psychology, I would stay away from it, okay? Because it doesn't have any good knowledge. It has negative knowledge. Some ignorance, some falsehood. Like all this Freudian stuff, it's all garbage. It's bad for you, okay? You should not study psychology, okay? Actually, I do. I did take one psychology class when I was in college in the Midwest. Um, it was. It wasn't bad. Okay. It was. It was good. I liked it. Actually, actually, I excelled in it because I graduated from my undergrad institution with three point nine out of four point zero. Okay. So yeah, I excelled in every single class. Okay. So yeah, in psychology. Yeah, I excelled in that class. It was like three hundred people, and I was number one. Like four hundred people, five hundred people. Was it three hundred? At least 300, I think. Yeah, I was number one. Okay. And it was a good school. It was fairly prestigious. It was public state, state school, but uh, it's still, uh, it was very well known school in the Midwest. And yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I did learn something. And uh, so psychology, yeah, there's some validity, valid theory in there. Okay. Um, but by and large, it's wrong. Okay. I want you to learn humanology from me instead of psychology. Okay. So, yeah, by now we have more than 100 episodes, each of them on average like two hours long. Okay. Uh, so it's like 200 hours so far. So it's a lot. Yeah. So uh, by all means, just watch them. Okay. With vodka at home after work. Okay. Um, then you have some more insights about human being and about the universe. Humanology isn't just about humans. It's about the universe. Universe. We are very philosophical, we are very religious, and we are scientific too, okay? Um, 
uh, I think we should do some mathematics today. Um, maybe copium account. Maybe copium transfer. Because we still have at most uh, one hour and a half left. So we'll take a break and um, we think about what to do next. Okay, so. All right, let's take a break. Because uh, I'm blanking out again. I, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're back. Um, let me wash my hands. Yeah, it's getting winter. Uh, let me grab my glasses. We're in the winter and in Alaska and um, it's 
not the best season in the world. Winter in Alaska. Well, we have Aurora Borealis, so it's not bad. Okay. But it's kind of creepy. It's like cold and dark. That's why women, we have more men than women in Alaska. Because uh, women, they just cannot take it. Okay. So they would rather live in Florida or California, Arizona, what have you, New Mexico. Uh, somewhere warm and sh sunshine and we guys, yeah, we love Alaska because many Alaskans go hunting, fishing. I don't, okay? I I don't want to kill any animals. I'm kind of liberal in that account. I'm not against it, but fishing, hunting, it's just too much work. I'm lazy, okay? I would rather pick berries. <laughs> and I don't even go far away to hike. I pick berries around my, in my backyard. I have... In my backyard, we have uh, rose hips, high bush cranberries, we have bunch berries, um, even uh, red currant, I think. Yeah, I don't have to go far, it's just in my backyard, okay? They're delicious. They make good vodka drinks. I don't mow my lawn because all these weeds, you know, like dandelion and clover clover they get, make great vodka drinks so i don't want to kill those plants that's not they are nice plants um yeah also the spruce tips you know yeah great vodka drinks okay so uh i don't want to kill them um they give me oxygen and i like it natural so it's the very first house I ever purchased, so I have three bedroom house, plus three bedroom plus. So I have this entertainment room, wardrobe room, and bedroom, and then I have living room connected to with kitchen and bathroom. So technically five bedroom, um, five room house. You know, half acre lot. That's big enough for me. Okay. I'm lazy, so I don't really clean my house. Uh, the only time I clean my house is when I'm expecting a date. It's all fantasy. It never happens. But uh, just in case, she comes home with me. But of course, it never happens. But it's okay. Give me a good excuse to clean my house. And But yeah, whatever. Right? So... And um, yeah, yeah, let's do the mathematics, okay? Uh, or not. Um, we, we kind of did mathematics yesterday, right? Divergent, convergent, projection, okay? Uh, like you're angry at somebody, but that person who did some wrong to you, the person ran away, so, but you're still angry, you gotta vent out your anger so you blame somebody who is kind of similar to that person okay kind of neighbor of that person in the human space yeah yeah i, I don't kind of have this i'm not in the mood of doing any mathematics now so please forgive me all right so uh so yeah, I used to be a nerd. Yeah, that's just the childhood or good old days story, memories. Okay, so I went to this undergrad institution in Midwest and I was kind of disappointed because the very first time I came to America, came back to America because I was born here, but I was a baby when we moved back to South Korea and I watched all this fancy Hollywood movies, TV shows. Then I came to, you know, like New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago, all that stuff. And I came to this Midwest and then I realized, I looked around and there's nothing. It's just farmlands. I was like, is this America? So yeah, I was kind of disappointed. But um, later on in my life in America, I realized that's the real America. America is not Hollywood. Okay, it's farmlands mostly, and um, those are the real Americans. 
okay americans are just like in any other countries we work hard we go to work every day we are families honest people hard-working people just like in any other countries like in iran north korea china russia we're all the same okay we're not bad people we're good people okay we are caring people so please do not hate america if you're in some foreign countries um media or hollywood or all those fancy stuff they don't represent us that's not america false image false representation what you see on tv that's not america at all all these american movies and tv shows no that's not america at all okay we americans we are hard-working people we're caring people we're just like you are anywhere in the world okay so don't hate america for politicians they don't represent us like politicians in north korea they don't represent north korea north koreans are just like us americans okay hard-working people iran iraq russia china it's all the same it's all the same okay we're hard-working people period caring people period so yeah don't hate any country don't hate any class of people don't hate any race of people we're just people, okay? So, uh, don't hate anybody. Don't hate somebody because that person is different from you. Physically or metaphysically. Okay? There's no reason to hate, okay? Uh, yeah, rich people, they are not happier than us. Do, don't you think they have their own problems? President Trump, do you think he's a happy guy? You see, he's on top of the world? I don't think so. Yeah, he has his own problems and issues and yeah, we are all the same, okay? Uh, yeah, don't hate anybody, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what, what else we can talk about. Uh, childhood memory, college days, sure. It was a little bit, actually a lot of shock, culture shock. When I first uh, returned to America as a college student and uh, Midwest, you know, mostly white people, and um, I felt so awkward and uh, yeah, it was difficult, okay. Language barrier, cultural barrier, it was not easy. Okay, so yeah, I, I was such a mess. I'm doing better now, but uh, still I'm, you know, kind of lower middle income, middle class, right? And I, I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't need that much money, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I have nice hobbies, singing, dancing, martial arts, and just tape recording. Um, I'm having fun. I have many friends. You know, I go to political meetings and... Okay. Hang out with political activists, local politicians. You know, I have a job and house and a car. It would be nice if I have a girlfriend, but I think it's by design. Probably God does not want me to have a girlfriend. But if I have a girlfriend, do you think I'll be doing this? No, I'll be kissing, hugging, having sex. PG-13, okay. Yeah, that, that's what I'll be doing wasting money and time and hopefully i don't get any std but uh who's yeah i'm very loyal monogamous kind of guy so i just need one woman okay but uh yeah that's not happening and so i'm here all by myself and just talking to myself now i'm not talking to myself i'm talking to this camera i'm talking to you but you are not there so I'm just talking to the empty space and it's better that way in a sense because I don't get into any trouble, okay? Because uh, I, I'm a boy, okay? I'm a man. Yeah, I, let boys be boys, okay? I'm, I'm naughty, playful. I say things that offend people. 
Because I'm a man, I'm a boy, okay? I, I'm naughty, playful, I make fun of people. Yeah, but back when I was in elementary school or middle school, um, yeah, I picked on girls, I picked on other guys, other boys, and I got picked on by girls and other boys too. It's just children, okay? So, no big deal. Okay, we just being naughty, pick on people. It's okay. Okay, that's copy on predation, okay? Copy on transfer. You are taking somebody's happiness. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about human knowledge today because it's kind of late at night, like 9 o'clock, Sunday night. Uh, what are the childhood or some memories? I don't know what to talk about, okay? Uh, I'm blanking out. It's night is still young, it's like nine o'clock, not even nine o'clock at night, and um, I don't know what to do uh, if I'm not doing this. Um, ah, boy. I'm not in the mood of dancing, singing, martial art. Uh, I don't know what to do, okay? And I'm not sleepy either because I took a long nap. Uh, Oh boy. We talked about evolution, you know, social welfare system is hindering evolution because they're helping out these people with inferior genes. Out in the nature, if an individual animal with inferior genes, they just die. They never get to mate, so their inferior genes die with them. But you know, Homo sapiens, this westernized world, we help out those people with inferior genes, so and they get married and they get ch have children, and their inferior genes get passed on to the next generation, and they get free government money, social welfare, you know, social security, Medicare, Medicaid. I think it's bad for the society, okay? We should just let them die, okay? And just let them die and let their inferior genes die with them, okay? Otherwise, the society will just get worse and worse, okay? So, social welfare system, you know, high tax to feed these inferior people is... I don't think it's a good idea, okay? So, you may say, oh, you're so inhumane, cold-blooded snake or reptile. <laughs> oh, you have the squinted eyes like this. Oh, you're Asian snake. Oh, you, you, uh, vampire Dracula or whatever. Um, Asian Kangxi. You know, the hopping Dracula, hopping, hopping vampire, whatever. <laughs> this zombie Asian guy. You're so cruel. How, how dare you think that? Again, you can take me as a joke, as a joker. Don't take me seriously, all right? And don't vote for me. Tell it in November. Yeah, if you think I'm I'm horrible person, yeah, don't vote for me. Okay, it's, I I will never hold that against you. You're exercising your right. I respect your right. You should vote for somebody that you believe would do the best for the country. If you think that's not me, guess what? You may be right. I may be wrong. Okay, so vote for whoever that you think is the best for the country okay in 2020 november i don't have to be the, become the president because um i'm running because i know i i'm better than president trump in every single way i'm younger 
I'm more stylish than President Trump. He do, he has the he knows what's beautiful and what's not. But he himself, I mean, he's not an ugly guy. He's fairly charming, attractive guy, I guess, uh, handsome guy. But uh, the way he dresses is very lame. Okay, it's too restricted. My style of dressing, you know, just look at my neckties. Okay. Uh, I'm very colorful kind of guy. Okay, many th people think I'm gay. Okay, <laughs> I've heard it so many times. Are you gay? You know, you don't have to be gay to be stylish. My my parents, yeah, they're very stylish people, especially my mom because she studied fine arts. Okay, she's a very bold style, colorful clothing. She studied fine art. Okay, so. Yeah, I got it mostly from her. My dad, he's just okay, I guess. Um, more on the ordinary side. But yeah, he's okay. He's decent. But yeah, I got it from my mom, mother's side. Uh, so yeah, I, I like colorful dresses. Okay, like colorful neckties, shirts, and uh, uh, suits. You know, the sport coat. You know, black blazer and shoes and yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm more stylish than President Trump. I'm more knowledgeable than President Trump in every single way. And in terms of finance as well. Okay, so he he doesn't quite understand finance. Okay, he he said, oh stock price going up, that's they will create a lot of jobs. So this good, it's not. Okay, so stock price. Going up, it means all these stock traders, they are making money. None of those money by higher stock price go to the company itself. It does not. Okay, so higher stock price does not mean you will have more, you are creating more jobs. It doesn't. Okay. Because none of those money go to those companies or the employees. It doesn't. Okay, because it's all secondary stock market. Okay, so you buy a stock for what ten dollars and you sell it to fifteen dollars, you make profit five dollars only. You, the stock previous stock owner, none of that five five dollars go to the company or to employees. No, no. Okay, so stock market higher price. It does not mean the company is getting rich. Okay, President Trump, he doesn't know. He's just a real estate guy. And he's not even good at it. Okay, he got bankrupt so many times. Okay, he lost billions of dollars. He made billions of dollars. So, net total, zero. He made zero money. When he made billion dollars, yeah, he get to keep it. When he lose ba billion dollars, he declare bankruptcy. So, <laughs> he, uh, and where is that money coming from? You. It's not taxpayer money, it's your pension fund, your insurance money, because they are the investors. There are this, so a couple of big pool of money, like pension fund, insurance fund, or savings account, you know, banks, and big corporations. Yeah, the big pool of money, also taxpayer money, government. Okay, those are big pool of money, and money is just out there. So what do they do with the money? They invest to business, like to this Trump empire, okay, Organi Trump organization, right? So yeah, they invest, lend money, and he declares bankruptcy, then that money is gone, okay? So yeah, that money comes from you, me, all of us. He stole from us, okay? So bankruptcy is a legalized theft, okay? And you think he's a, such a slick, savvy businessman he's not okay not every businessman declare bankruptcy only bad businessmen declare bankruptcy and one of them is president trump okay so you think he's more qualified to become president than me well i have to disagree with you okay anyway 
So, I'm more knowledgeable, I know more than President Trump. I'm wiser than President Trump. Yeah, I'm younger than, I have more energy than President Trump. I'm healthier than President Trump, okay? So, yeah, you should really like me, okay? Um, well, that's my recommendation. Um, I won't hate you if you vote for President Trump instead of me because uh, it's your right. I respect your right, okay? To me, you are my God, okay? People, people are God, okay? You, do, you are the decision maker. You decide whether uh, I will be the next president of America or not. You are the God, okay? God acts through you. So you are my God, okay? You, you, you can, it's up to you. My future is up to you. So you are like God. Okay? You decide what my future will be. Will I be president of the United States in 2021 or not? It's up to you. You decide my future, so you are my God. That's how human knowledge interprets uh, this word God. It's like a pronoun, okay? It refers to many different things. Okay? So. Okay. What else can I talk about? <sighs> well, so human being, uh, human happiness, okay, um, the right way to do it wrong way to do it okay so um murderers they kill people because they, it makes them happy all right so there are crimes okay there's this continuum between belief and knowledge okay it's a continuum there's a spectrum okay belief and knowledge okay no knowledge is 100 percent perfect it's a very strong belief, okay? And crime, there's crime, and there's immorality, and there's morality. It's all continuum, okay? So there are crime like murder, theft, rape, and there are some things that is not illegal, but still wrong. Like marijuana, tattoo, piercing, gay marriage. They're immoral, but they're not crimes. Okay? Okay, when I'm the president in 2021, I'm not going to make a single law. That's up to Congress. Okay? President's job is not making laws. I will work with the Congress and state governors and state legislatures to get rid of laws. We have more than enough laws. Okay, we should start getting rid of laws. Don't you think we have enough laws out there? Okay, so. Oh, I'm not going to illegalize gay marriage or illegalize recreational marijuana, illegalize tattoos and piercing. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste time making brand new laws. No, no. It's God-given freedom, free will. I'm not going to trespass your freedom. I don't believe in it. Okay? All I'm going to do is to encourage people to be fit. I'm not going to impose some sugar tax or fat tax. No, no, no. There will be no new taxes. Or tattoo tax, gay tax, piercing tax, plastic surgery tax. I'm not going to do that. I don't believe in taxation, okay? Ideally, th there should be no taxation whatsoever, okay? Yeah, we got to build roads, but we already have enough roads, don't you think? All you gotta do is, yeah, just plug up the potholes. Yes, yeah, there's some, there could be some very little tax, okay? Uh, ideally, there should be no school. Okay? Children should be working full time. And at home, they should be, yeah, go to internet, buy some cheap, dirt cheap Amazon uh, old Asian books, and they should study, and they pass this universal bar exam in mathematics and physics, whatnot, French, Spanish, Arabic. 
and then you get license for that subject. Okay, that's the vision. That's my vision for future America. Okay, no schools, no tax, minimum tax. Okay, and uh, everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, everybody can run and know how to swim, and everybody's fit. They will tattoo free, piercing free, STD free. No more gayism, no more tattoo piercism, no more obesity, no more recreational marijuana. Okay, uh, that's the vision, my vision of America. Okay, uh, if you don't want that, then don't vote for me. Okay, take it or leave it. All right, I'm perfectly happy in Alaska. Okay, I'm doing this for you and for your kids and your grandkids. Do I want, do you think I want to wa live in Washington, D.C.? I've been to this. It's a beautiful town, but it's, I don't like living in a big city. That's why I came to Alaska, okay? I don't like all that traffic jam and high population density. Oh, makes me dizzy. Okay. I'm running for president, not because I want to be the president, but because I want to save America from self-destruction. America is in a suicidal course right now. Okay, it's destroying itself. I'm sorry. Obesity, tattoos, piercings, recreational marijuana, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, all these horrendous things is destroying America. Okay, I want to put a stop on this because I love America. I love American people. I owe them. They gave me citizenship. They educated me. You know, I, I went to an uh, undergrad institution with uh, this Pell Grant. Yeah, I, yeah, my parents paid tuition a little bit, but uh, mostly, you know, Pell Grant, some scholarship, okay. I went to graduate school with fellowship. I didn't pay for anything for two years and I dropped out, but I, it, the graduate institution in PhD program, it educated me a lot. And now I'm giving something back to you by doing this and also by running for president. Law school, I got GI Bill, post 9-11 GI Bill. So uh, it paid for my tuition. So I'm not in any debt. Okay, so yeah, I want to give something back to America. Okay, that's why I'm running for president and that's why I'm doing this. Okay, for f all for free. Okay, and it's my great pleasure. Okay, um, so I I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing this for myself. I, I don't need money. Okay, I I'm making enough money to get by. I don't get to save. Okay, because, uh, and I'm okay with that. I don't have to save. I don't have kids. I don't have a wife. I, you know, like, uh, so it's okay that I don't get to save, okay? Because uh, I don't, I'm not a good saver. Okay. If I have money, I use it. Why? Because I can die tomorrow, okay? So why not enjoy the money that I have? while I have it. So I go to restaurant during my lunch time. Okay. Pay what? 10 bucks. Sometimes 20 bucks. Go to a nice, sometimes Korean restaurant and Korean restaurant tend to be expensive. Or sometimes some Thai, Thai, you know, Thailand, you know, with all these curries and you know, Asia, South, South Asia, uh, Southeast Asia, Thai, Thailand, Thailand. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I go to Thailand restaurant and, um, or Vietnamese restaurant. So uh, they tend to be more expensive than McDonald's. Sometimes I do go to McDonald's and yeah, I spend for lunch, uh, $10, $15, sometimes even $20, which is a lot of money to me. But I need it because my work, you know, is, uh, I like my job, but uh, it's sometimes it's stressful. So 
this is one hour lunch time. Yeah, I want to have a good time. Nice and relaxed and Yeah, so I get to use all my money. Okay, I don't get to save Yeah, I can go to subway. I used to go to subway um, McDonald's It's just like what seven dollars a meal Nowadays I spend like fifteen dollars during the lunch time and See, I, I, I don't get to save, okay, uh, but I'm okay with that. Uh, and um, let's take a break. It's been two hours, all right? So uh, let's take a break. Okay, we're back. Um, here is Aurora Borealis. Up, up here in Alaska, we call, call it Northern Lights. Okay. It, it's not as fancy as you think, Aurora Borealis. It kind of looks like cloud, like kind of grayish cloud. Sometimes it's more colorful, like green. But they don't move around. Most Aurora Borealis, they're kind of just hanging out there like long clouds. <laughs> it's not that as pretty as you see in the picture. Those are the pretty Aurora Borealis. Mostly, it's, they just look like cloud. They don't move around. It's just hanging there like a cloud, long stretch of cloud, like grayish. Sometimes, yeah, I saw this moving curtain like fast moving aurora borealis yeah i've seen that okay most of the times they don't move around very much okay they look like cloud <laughs> they don't even have green color they kind of grayish okay yeah but it's aurora okay yeah i saw it out there for my yard i live in alaska okay so okay so uh this uh, continuum of belief and knowledge is continuum. It's a matter of percentage, okay? Uh, because we can never be sure. We are, we are not God. We are human beings, okay? And uh, what's right, what's wrong, 
okay um yeah it's about harm analysis okay tattoos piercing is bad because uh it makes you ugly okay we human beings we change and we should change change is a good thing okay we should change for the better but you have this tattoo of your what your girlfriend <laughs> look you may break up and now you have this name Jane what if you break up and so you have a brand new girlfriend now whose name is Susan and Susan is having sex with you and you have this name Jane <laughs> <laughs> she said, hey, who the fuck is Jane? Uh, my name is Susan. PJ Sarsen, I'm sorry. I don't want you anymore because you have your, this, some other girl's name on your shoulder. You're fucked. Okay, so tattoo is something very, very stupid. You change. Or maybe you tattoo like, I'm hardcore Republican. But you may become liberal later on. Oh, you tattoo Jesus. You may become a Muslim later on. Okay? You change your belief. Okay? You don't want to get tied into your past. You do want to change. You want to evolve. You want to better yourself. Tattoo is something permanent and it ties you down to your past. You do not want to be tied down to your past. You want to forget and forgive. Let past be let bygone be bygone and you want to move on you want to evolve to the next level you want to be a better person so tattoo is getting in the way piercing oh it's just getting in the way you take off your clothes you put on your clothing you wash your face but if you are piercing here 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 and he, like here and it gets in the way you cannot wash yourself well it looks ugly okay ouch Okay? It hurts. So when I when I see somebody who's bleeding, I feel like ouch, oh painful. It's the same reaction, okay? It's biological evolutionary reaction. Panic. Okay? If you tattoo, yeah, it's very painful. Piercing very painful, okay? So when I see you, I feel this pain. Okay? That's the biological response. If somebody's bleeding, somebody has this bruise, ouch. I'm not bruised, I'm not bleeding, but you feel that empathy. Okay, it's a biological response. Why? Because have you ever killed an ant? You smash an ant, then now there's this smell of death. So other ants, they panic. Because if this ant, my colleague, my friend is dead, that means there's an enemy who just killed it. Me. So all the other ants, they can smell this ant blood. Smell of ant death. So they start running very fast. They panic. Oh, there must be an enemy who's killing. I could be the next ant who die. So they panic. Evolutionary response, okay? So somebody feel the pain in the same species? Yeah, we feel the pain too. Empathy. It's a biological evolutionary response, okay? So, yeah, you, this injury, tattoos, piercings, ouch. I don't have tattoos, but I feel the pain. So, yeah, something unpleasant, ugly, okay? If somebody, just like somebody is bruised or bleeding, yeah, I feel ouch. I'm not bruised I'm not bleeding but you feel that empathy okay this biological empathy of pain somebody feel the pain yeah I feel the pain too okay so that's the uh, basis for tattoos and piercings um, anti-tattoo piercism okay and it gets in the way it's uh, inconvenient tattoos piercings you cannot wash yourself very well it's dirty it's ugly Okay, so yeah, it's pure evil. There's no good in it. 
it makes this world uglier place. Okay? Many of my close friends have tattoos and piercings. But again, I have to love Jesus, the truth, the righteousness, justice more than I love my friends. Because my friends are like my parents. They teach me, they take care of me. I love them. But if they do something wrong, I have to criticize it for their own sake. Okay, do you, do you get the idea? All right, so. Yeah, okay, so human allergy is uh, firmly rooted on, uh, rooted on uh, Christianity. Uh, but all, all, of course, we don't agree everything that Christianity or Bible or Jesus has to say. We don't believe in Adventism, like Jesus coming to us to solve every single problem of ours. That's a very lazy attitude. We, we have to solve our problems rather than expecting Jesus, waiting for Jesus to come and save us. No, we have to save ourselves. Okay, so that point we disagree with Jesus and Bible. We have to be the second coming of Jesus. You and me. All of us. That's the only way we can save the world. To save America, okay? There's no other way. Alright, so. Prayer yeah, I do pray. I love it. I appreciate it when people pr people pray pray for me. Nothing more, nothing in the world means more to me than people who pray for me. I ask them pr to pray for me. I do believe in power of prayer. I pray for my children. I I don't have any kids. My friends, families. Yeah, I do pray. Okay, in Jesus' name, Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Yeah, I do that. Okay, it's kind of like a black magic spell it's religion okay it's all the same but uh in humanology prayer means labor saint paul said uh do not cease to pray meaning uh in humanological interpretation is that do not cease to work always work just like we are doing right now we are working or studying teaching yeah they all labor prayer Okay, and uh, when you pray, Jesus said, uh, don't do it in front of other people, do it in a closed quarter. That's what we are doing right now, okay? I'm at home alone. Yeah, it's being broadcast yeah, because I upload to YouTube and whatnot, and um, well, still, it's a public secret. It's, it is public, but it's still private because nobody's watching this. Okay, so, and, um, okay, so, uh, but we are working, we are doing labor, service to humanity, it's accessible, accessible 27, 24 7, or anywhere in the world, okay? So yeah, we have great technology, technological ease, a cell phone, internet, okay, let's make use of it, okay, so. We can save a lot of money. Senators, congressmen, they should should not be in Washington, D.C. So when I'm the president in 2021, I will kick them out of Washington, D.C. You go back home. We don't want you here. Stop wasting taxpayers' money. Just stay in your home state. Talk to people, listen to them. Find out what issues are bothering them. Make your state better in your home state. You should not come to Washington, D.C. ever. I will kick them out of Washington, D.C. We don't want them. I don't want them in Washington, D.C. with me. I don't want them. You want to talk to me? You know, hypothetically, I'm president in the United States in 2021. Call me. Let's do teleconferencing. We have internet. Use it. Why do you have to be physically in Washington, D.C.? No, no. Go back home, okay? I don't want you here. Go back to your state. Talk to people in your own state. Take care of them. Meetings? We'll do teleconferencing. We have internet. Use it, all right? Stop wasting taxpayers' money. 
maintaining all these offices, all these air travels. No, 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 no. We cannot afford that anymore. America is no longer a rich, rich country. We have trillions of debt. We should start saving. Okay? We should make ends meet. Government should run more like a business, and business should run more like government. Meaning, government should start making, make, start to make ends meet. We cannot just keep raising taxes. We should reduce taxes. Okay, and uh, also uh, we should uh, business should run more like government. Meaning, they should they shouldn't only take care about money. Profit maximization. No, no. They should care about people, their well beings, what's best for the people. That's what business corporations should do. Okay? Stop caring about only about money. Okay? Start caring about people's life and morality, what's best for them. Just like government is supposed to do. Okay? That's how business should be run. An MBA program, they should start emphasizing ethics, morality. Okay, it shouldn't be all about money. Okay, because money can is not a solution. All right. Yeah, we need money, but it's not the solution. Money cannot make you happy. I need you to understand this. All right. How do can a person be happy? You have to work. It's all about labor. It's minor pluses, okay? Work and then play. Labor, salary. You work, you get money. That's how you can be happy. You study, you learn something new. Yeah, it's not easy to learn a foreign language. It's uphill battle. It's very painful. Once you learn it, you can talk Portuguese, which I'm studying now. German, French, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Hindi, Arabic. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That's the only way you can be happy. Tattoos, piercings, marijuana, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, it will only destroy you. Okay, they are the devils and... Um, you get in bed with the devil, the devil will not reward you. No, he will kill you. You never shake hands with the devil. You never trade with the devil because devil is all those things. Tattoo, piercing, marijuana, gay marriage, transgender surgery, plastic surgery, cosmetic plastic surgery. All those things, okay? So plastic surgery is not 100% wrong. You have some medical plastic surgery, okay? If your eye, eye, this is kind of messing with your vision, yeah, then sometimes you have to do this plastic surgery in the eye so that you have this eyelid, double eyelid, and yeah, there's some medical reason, plastic surgery, okay? Or you have congenital defect, you have, you know, you have this uh, defect, you have this birth defect. Yeah, plastic surgery, that's fine, okay? Or maybe you have some accident and you have some scars. You want to get rid of your scar. Or you have big mole, black mole somewhere. Yeah, you, you can get rid of that plastic surgery. Okay, that's fine. But the kind of plastic surgery I'm opposed to is uh, like people like Trump family, Trump women, all of them, all his ex-wives and forced lady, Melania Trump or forced daughters like Ivanka Trump, Tiffany Trump. I think they all had plastic surgeries to make breasts like this. Ugly. So ugly. You see, that's President Trump. I, I'm sure he paid for it. That's stupid and crazy. Make these beautiful, once beautiful women uglier and... You want to re-elect him? Do you want this man to be re-elected in 2020? Ah. 
You are crazy. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. Okay, I'm running for president. I'm, I'm a paper pusher in Alaska making every dollar. American salary, uh, I'm running for president. Yeah, I, I know I'm crazy. Okay, but you are crazy too. <laughs> you wanna re-elect President Trump? Come on. We are all stupid, we are all stupid crazy, okay? So, uh, well. Yeah, we are all stupid, we are all crazy, okay? So, uh, who is crazier? You wanting to re-elect President Trump? Or me running for president? Who is crazier? Uh huh? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I uh, it's so funny. But I, I love you no matter what, okay? You don't have to vote for me. Um if you do vote for me, I I I'd be eternally grateful. But if you don't vote for me, I'm not gonna hate you. I'm not a hater, I'm a lover. Just like Michael Jackson said with a song, you know. Okay. I don't understand the way you think The girl is mine with Paul McCartney Yeah, yeah, he said I, I, I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter, but yeah, I am a fighter Okay, I may not fight very well, but I love metaphysical fighting Debate. I love it okay, I'm, I'm very good at it Okay. Physical fight, yeah, well, I'm old. I'm 40 years old, okay? I sh You can beat me up, okay? You can kick my ass. Yeah, anybody can, okay? So I'm 40 years old, okay? So, uh... Martial art, I love martial art, but probably you laugh at me. You know, I do... I I showed you doing this nunchucks, and I drop it many times, so I, I'm not very good at it, okay? But I love doing it. You don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. Actually, paradoxically, ironically, if you are very good at something, you don't get to enjoy it, okay? Because you are too good at it. It's too easy for you, so there's no challenge, okay? I'm just turning on the heater, okay? So if you enjoy something, it's because you are not that good at it, okay? <laughs> you have professional singers, professional dancers. Do you think they enjoy what they do for a living? Dancing and singing? I don't think so. Professional martial artists. Do you think they enjoy doing martial art? I don't think so. They do it as as job. It's, they're so good at it. It's not something new. It's not that challenging anymore. So yeah, they don't enjoy it. The time we enjoy something is when uh, we are not good at it. Okay, we are learning something. Something new to us. It's fresh. Grass is always greener on the other side because the grass that we have, we are used to it. Okay, we want something new. Okay, so I understand why do people do piercings and tattoos because it's something new. Okay, but it's not everything new is a good new. There are some bad new. Not everything old is a bad old. There are some good old, good traditions. There are some traditions that are bad. There are good tradition and good and bad traditions. Okay. Something new. There are some good novelty and bad novelty. You should never follow this mainstream just because it's something popular. What are you? Why do you follow this trend? Mainstream. Are you dead? I want you to be independent thinker. Humanology, yeah, fuck it. Don't listen to me. Don't agree with me. Criticize me. Okay? Just laugh it off. I want you to be an independent thinker. Okay. Come up with your own theories and your ideas and be a politician. And run for president, run for Congress, run for Senate. Okay. And save the world. But I need you to think. 
on your own and meet God. Talk to God. Study. Okay? That's what I want from you. I, I don't want you to just agree with me. No, I, I want you to be a critical thinker. Okay? Uh, so, um, maybe we'll do some martial arts, okay? Or maybe some dancing, okay? Maybe I'm drunk enough to do some martial arts and dancing. Night is still young. It's like 9.30 right now. So, we'll take a break and then we'll do some martial arts or some uh, dancing a little bit, okay? So I'm blanking because... All I, I remember doing this weekend is brushing my teeth. Okay, twice a day. Um, and doing this and brushing and sleeping and... Yeah. Eating. There's some other stuff, but I'm not gonna tell you. I, I just all by, all by myself, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you all the details, okay, but just at home, by myself, okay. Yeah, well, we, we, we'll be back, okay, we'll take some break. Ventilate the air, opening my window.
I talk shit about many things, and I just about an hour ago I talk shit about Aurora Borealis. Well, I talk shit about everything. Okay, so I apologize this, to the spirit of Aurora Borealis ism. Okay, yeah, I just went went out there and it's beautiful. Okay, it's kind of light green, glowing in the darkness. That's what we have in Alaska. Okay, mostly during the winter, long dark night. We have aurora borealis. It's beautiful, spectacular, so huge, and they move very slowly most times. Sometimes they move very fast, but uh, well, yeah, it was beautiful. Okay, so let's do some martial arts, some dancing. Okay, I want you to laugh, laugh at me. Okay, so uh, okay, we'll do some martial arts. Okay, so uh. My favorite weapon, you know, you know what it is, nunchucks, okay, so, yeah, and also dagger, you know, dagger, like, I like this real grip, okay, because you're hiding it, okay, it's all imaginary, okay, um, you don't really have a knife, you just do it for fun, as a fun hobby. So somebody is attacking you and there's this bear you move to the side and you slash its uh neck ah oh you just cut my neck i'm bleeding oh this blood is cutting all out you are just fantasizing okay it's for fun entertainment okay and I, i'm holding a knife but you don't get to see it so you're complacent that's the whole point of martial art like ninja too. ninja style Okay. You make your opponent complacent so that he's relaxed. Oh, you don't have any weapon, but I do. I'm just hiding it. You don't get to see my weapon anywhere. Occlusion. I'm occluding. I'm hiding it. I do have weapon. Two of them. Okay. So if somebody, you know, people typically do this frontal grip, right? Oh, I'm gonna stab you! Oh, oh, I'm being stabbed! Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's entertainment, okay? So just enjoy, okay? And use the blunt steak knife. This the it's blunt. It's not cutting my flesh. I don't get cut. I, I may get, I'm a paper pusher, so every now and then I, I get paper cut, okay? But not from this. Blunt steak knife, okay? Do you see this? It's very blunt. I bought it from Walmart. But it's metal, I love metal, we do metal. I love some heavy metal music too. Again, we are going everywhere. Well, it's okay because we are, we are just having fun. Okay, so you don't have to focus and do mathematics. Oh, fuck it. Do humanology. Oh, fuck humanology. Okay. Yeah, we're having fun. Okay, so we have knife. I have both of them. I can do X block like this or like this. You know, like Peter Pan. It's a Disney movie. Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yeah, he can fly. He's so good at martial art. So he has this dagger short. And his opponent have this long Japanese samurai sword like this, right? And but his Peter Pan is fighting this have this dagger. My preference would be like this. Okay. You know, you just deflect. It is stronger grip. Real grip is stronger, and you can hide it behind your arm, forearm, forearm. Okay. Yeah. Somebody come at you like this, oh, I'm gonna block you. So it's all imaginary, okay, entertainment, okay. Somebody come in like this, oh, I'm gonna block you like this, okay. Japanese samurai sword, oh, come in, oh, come on. I'm, I'm gonna deflect this, I'm gonna dodge, and then I go after your throat, okay, like this. Ah! I'm just making fun, okay? So yeah, it's a, it's a martial art, okay? 
the sword, samurai sword. Yeah, you can make it blunt so that nobody gets hurt. I'm giving you some ideas to make some movie, martial art movie, okay? If I'm holding a sword, samurai sword, I'm gonna hide it like this. You don't get to see it, but it's there. I, I don't want to, I don't want you to see you are my enemy in a martial art movie, local production, okay? Decentralized Hollywood, all right? So, uh, I don't, yeah, you know, I uh, dropped out of graduate school, you know, prestigious Ivy League school, okay, back in the days. Yeah, I was, you know, PhD program, but I dropped out after two years to become an actor in Hollywood, okay, so I was in the Eastern Coast, Ivy League school, I dropped out and started driving to Los Angeles, California. Cali I love California, okay, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's liberal, but it's okay. Liberalism, Democratic Party, they are not wrong in every single way. They have some good ideas. They're open-minded. I'm open-minded. Part of me is very liberal. Half of me is very liberal. I like new things, okay? So, human knowledge is something new, okay? So, so I have weapon, but I don't want to, sh to sh let you know that I do have weapon, okay? I... I don't want you to know that I have a weapon, okay? So I hide it. When the moment comes, then yeah, I, I do like this, okay? Rear grip. This is frontal grip, right? Oh, you're showing off. Oh, I have a sword. I don't want that. Just like Jesus said, you know, let's apply Christianity to martial arts. When you pray, you don't blow this trumpet no you do it in a closed quarter in secret you hide and pray you hide and do martial arts okay i'm doing martial arts in my home nobody's watching this yeah it's theoretically it's available 24 7 all everywhere in the world but Nobody's watching it, okay? So I'm private. Nobody's around me. It's just me, okay? So, yeah, I, I have weapon, but I'm not showing it off, okay? I'm hiding it, okay? You don't get to see it. So you're complacent. Yeah, you don't have any weapon. It's just you stupid Asian guy. So I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> okay? So that's the power of real grip. It's more powerful grip. Because we, you have more support from your palm, okay? If you do this, it's not very powerful, okay? Oh, oh! Okay, but if you have this, ugh, you still have strong support from your palm. It's stronger, real grip is stronger. And also, it's surreptitious. You're hiding it. You don't get, your enemy don't get to see that you have a weapon. Okay, real grip. I watched this movie uh, called The Last Master. It's about Wing Chun Master. It's made in, I think, 2015 or so. Fairly recent movie. Hollywood is not making any good movies nowadays, okay? I love Hollywood, okay? They used to make great movies. You know, like... Sunset Boulevard, fantastic black and white movie, and uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Mulholland Drive, I think his name is David Lynch, the director. Yeah, fantastic Mulholland Drive, fantastic movie. Lost Highway by David Lynch. It's kind of avant-garde, kind of. Uh, yeah, fantastic movies, okay. So, yeah, you know, I love that Jackie Chan and uh, Chris Tucker, I think, uh, you know, Rush Hour, yeah, fantastic movies. And um, Bruce Lee, yeah, I don't hate him, okay? Yeah, he's ultra internationalist. I despise him for that, but at the same time, 
He he's a great martial artist, uh, Jeet Kune Do, which is a combination between Wing Chun style and Western boxing. Wing Chun is means a forever young, okay? Wing Chun. Don't ask me how to spell those Chinese characters because I forgot. I used to know, okay? I used to know. Um, decades ago, okay, when I lived in Korea, Wing Chun, forever young, forever spring. Chun means spring season. It's like young, youth. Wing means a uh, young. Kind of sounds pretty similar. Sorry, sorry. Wing means a uh, eternal. So, young is a uh, Chun, spring season. That's young, youth. Wing means forever, eternal. So, Wing Chun is forever young. Okay. So yeah, and uh, this movie I watched last night because I ordered in Amazon a week ago and uh, it arrived to my mailbox. So yeah, this uh, last master is about a Chinese guy, let the last master of Wing Chun style. Okay, so it was a nice movie. Yeah, it's fairly recent. 2015 or something but it's made in China so it's not as bad as Hollywood movies nowadays but still not as good as old Chinese movies like you know Drunken Master you know, Crane Snake style yeah, Jackie Chan movie Bruce Lee movie Jet Li movie yeah old I prefer old movies and old songs okay so yeah they do a lot of real grip like this okay so yeah I have this big sword or staff but well, you're not seeing it okay yeah so you do like this this and this and this it takes more effort real grip is not as easy as this frontal grip okay you do it like this like baseball you know Japanese samurai style oh that's Japanese okay but I prefer Chinese martial arts, real grip, okay? Yeah, Chinese, they do frontal grip too, like, ah. Oh. But my preference is real grip, because uh, it's like ninjutsu, which is Japanese, okay? <laughs> it's mixed, Chinese and Japanese. Because if you are a good martial artist, uh, you want to be economic, efficient. You don't want to waste your energy, okay? You just want to get it over with as fast and as efficiently as possible, okay? So, yeah, you have your enemy. Okay. You don't want to show your weapon, that the fact that you have weapon, okay? So you, you just, all of a sudden, okay. man, what am I doing? Knocking things over, okay? Oh, what a waste. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, I told you I'm, I'm a boy. Let boys be boys. We get into trouble. We knock things over, okay? Stupid shit like that. Ah. You're stupid, okay? We are all stupid. You stupid boys, okay? Yeah, I, I, I am a stupid boy. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, so you have this big samurai sword or staff or this long rod. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Okay, so you have this long knife or staff, long stick. Your enemy is thinking, oh, he has, does not have any weapons, so I can kill him. Let me get some more water. I love water. I have this uh, plastic water cup and plastic water bottle everywhere in my house. And I always carry water bottle, plastic water bottle. I, 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 in, in a sense, I'm kind of liberal, 
So I love recycling, okay? I love environment, okay? So I love water and uh, I love vodka. Right? That's kind of conservative. <laughs> so you have this weapon, okay? But your enemy doesn't know that you have weapon. So he's coming at, at you. Oh, I can beat him up so easy because he has no weapon, okay? All of a sudden you have this, okay? Real grip. You don't get to see it. I have this. But you don't get to see it. Because I'm having real grip. At all. You don't see my weapon at all. Do you see it? But I do have it. Okay, that's the magic of real grip, okay? So you cut your opponent bear, tiger, lion. Oh, he has no weapon, so I can kill him so easy. And then you have this all of a sudden, okay? So do this, 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 and this, okay? Okay, so you, yeah, you're hiding your weapon. It's something very powerful, okay? Let me pick up my pens, markers. All right, so, uh, okay, so, uh, nunchucks the same way, okay, so, uh, you have your nunchucks, you can do frontal grip like this, okay, it's kind of broken on this side, but frontal grip, okay, but you have real grip, okay, you can always hide it like at, the, at your back like this, okay. You don't get to see it. I have nunchucks, but you don't see it. Okay? I'm hiding it. <laughs> or as a show, okay? Yeah, you can do fancy, beautiful, you know. Oh, I'm on a picture frame. Like this, like this. Oh, yeah, I can do all with the fingers, like this. Beautiful way of holding the nunchucks. Yeah, it's something very beautiful, okay? Yeah, like, yeah. It makes great pictures, okay? Fantastic. Oh, oh. look at me. Yeah, like, oh. Frame, picture frame, okay? Yeah, you can do all these fancy things with uh, all this, you know, sled of hand kind of thing. Uh, and, yeah, so decentralized Hollywood you can make beautiful movie in your local television station and be famous and how do we run it? Yeah, advertisement, local industry, company, local, small business advertisement, okay? We can create a lot of jobs, you know, and if you make very beautiful movie, it will become national, you will be or celebrate, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, like this. Yeah. Like this, okay? You know, I love nunchucks because it's versatile. You do all different kind of things because it's flexible. You know, you, you make all this fancy movement like this and this, like this, like this. Oh, oh, I just hit myself. You know, all this best stuff like this okay like oh I'm not very good at it okay so uh, trying to get you know you do like this okay like uh, oh I can do my over my head and you know this fancy stuff yeah don't talk is fun okay so um Let's do some uh, dancing, okay? We have only three min seven minutes. So yeah, we did martial arts. And in terms of dancing, so yeah, martial arts more Asian, Eastern thing, dancing more Western thing, okay? Latin America, partnership dancing. I don't know much about partnership dancing. I know a little bit. All right, but I don't have any girlfriends, so I never get to, to partnership dancing. 
Jujitsu, I love it, but I don't know too much about it. I'm not very good at Jujitsu, okay? Because I don't have any partner, martial art partner to practice it with. So yeah, m most of my martial art dance is Kung Fu, Chinese Kung Fu. Most of my dancing is more like African-American solo dancing style. Because I'm single, okay? So, uh, this is a great song by uh, Jimmy Fallon. I think he took, took over this late night TV show. Who used that used to be uh, run by uh, Conan O'Brien, who went to Harvard University, English major. A great comedian. Yeah, he worked with who used to be a pro producer and writer in you know the Simpsons. Yeah, Conan O'Brien. I like him. Nowadays, yeah, he's kind of lame, but back in the days, he used to be really funny. Okay, so. Uh, when he first came to Los Angeles, he used to have this NBC, you know, studio late night with Conor O'Brien in New York City, Manhattan, Rockefeller Center or something. Okay, so he was fun then. Okay, but he came to Los Angeles when I was living in Los Angeles, and he came to Los Angeles Conor O'Brien show in TBS, I think. It was no good. Okay, so. Yeah, so it's not that fun anymore, but uh, I used to like him a lot. Conor O'Brien, okay. Why are we talking about Conor O'Brien? Yeah, okay, Jimmy Fallon, okay, so yeah. All these people, these uh, alumni of this uh, Saturday, night, Saturday Night Live in New York City, Manhattan. You know, Saturday Night SNL, Saturday Saturday Night Live, okay, so yeah, Jimmy Fallon was one of them, and um, yeah, these old famous actors, actresses from Saturday Night Live, and um, I know this because I used to be an actor, okay, I mean, I wasn't very successful, so, but I still know them, I mean, I learned, I studied American entertainment business, because I used to be an actor, aspiring actor, though, although not very successful one. Yes, but I studied, so I understand, no, studied the history of American entertainment business, okay? I'm conversant and knowledgeable about those things, okay? So, um, Matt Goffin by uh, this director Hitchcock, who wrote who made this movie psycho okay yeah make off in okay it means some pretext ex excuse pretext some background some foundation to introduce something some brand new element okay? i i know all about it okay i took some class in video production backstage craft acting i took some classes in the midwest undergraduate college I didn't double major, but I did take some classes there, okay? So yeah, this Jimmy Fallon guy, he uh, sang this song, Idiot Boyfriend. It goes like, do, like this. Do, 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 I, I know what you want. But I will screw it all, baby. Because I'm an idiot and I'm your boyfriend. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm looking so horrible. But I enjoy dancing, okay? So after this recording, probably I'll start dancing. We have like one minute left, okay? When you're home alone, you don't have to look good. You don't have to be self-conscious. Nobody's watching you. Maybe you're married, your wife and kids, your husband and kids, okay? Hey, what do you care, man? They're your family. They can forgive you. They may laugh at you. It doesn't matter, okay? 
Yeah, do stop dancing, okay? And there's this, uh, you know, this uh, song by uh, Sabotage by, who sang that Sabotage song? Um, I'm kind of blanking. So, yeah, it has this kick-ass kick riff. Sabotage! Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? It's just sing and dance, all right? It's been three hours, so uh, we have to finish the re recording, okay? Okay, good night. I love you. Bye. Thank you.